In this video, we're taking a look at 10 newly added awesome utility app for your Apple Watch. Let's get started. Now real quick, I know I'm gonna get asked this a lot, especially in the comment section. This band, I'll make sure to leave it in the video description down below. And as for this carbon fiber case, this will also be linked in the description. It's like a gloss of carbon fiber. I covered it already on a previous video, so you can always search for that if you want. All right, so for number one, this app just recently came out. Literally, it's only been on the market for about a week or two. I pre-ordered it. I had no idea you could pre-order apps, but I got that notification and it was free to download, so why not? This app is called KeyWatch and basically gives you a full number, well, full keyboard right here on your wrist. Uh, what it basically does, it's just a cool shortcut for Messenger. So if you type in like a message and you hit send, it will actually quickly switch to the Apple message app. Here is where you can see the recent contact and you can tap on their name and it will automatically send that message that you typed in from that key watch app. This is way more efficient than having to rely on dictation or scribbles if you're typing up something. And if we go back to the app itself, if you force press or 3D press, you have two additional options. Either if you go into your settings, you could correct some of the corrections or you could clear it entirely. And if you swipe to the left or right, you have more options. So you have these icons on the left side. And if you go to the right, you have access to the emojis, but it requires a one-time purchase, but it's not really necessary. All the important keys are basically right here. The second utility app that I like to show you is called Handy Voice Checklist. And what this basically allows you to do is create voice memos, but you turn them into checklists. So just by simply pressing down and recording will automatically record a checklist. You can add up to five from my understanding. And then this is one that we already created and you can listen to it just by tapping on it, which is down on the next tab. And when you tap on it, it's gonna automatically check as soon as it's done playing back the audio. And you can listen back to it as many times as you want. And if you 3D press, you also get additional options too. You can also manually adjust the audio if the external speaker on the Apple Watch is a little bit too loud. But yeah, and you can also stack up to five voice memos. And there's this, there also is a complication you could put on your Apple Watch face as well. Now, Brainness Train Your Brain is one of those learning apps. I wouldn't really consider so much of a game app because this actually allows you to focus. There's a bunch of like cool exercise mind games on this thing, either simple workouts. Uh, one of my big complaints right now is that the back button's not really responsive as I like it to be. But here in the main menu, this is how it looks like. If you go into the brain test, this will actually test your memory strength, I guess and we'll play a game of dice with you where you actually have to order the dice from low to high. It's kind of like playing a game of cards where you flip cards to make them match. It, it feels like that's what I'm doing because it's a memory testing game. Now, I did have to speed up this video because I did spend five minutes playing this game, but uh, even this regular workout category was really addicting. Other fun games they have is like colors where you actually have to match the word with the color and it's really confusing but thankfully every time when you launch an a, a one of these little mini games it will actually give you a little tutorial or guide on what you need to be looking out for but even with that guide i still manage to screw up but again this application is actually addicting and they have other ones like mass uh, solve the equation by solving the missing symbol finding the correct one and it just goes on and on. But the gameplay itself, everything just works really well. There really isn't any issues besides that back issue I was telling you about. So if you're the developer of this app, please fix that. Other than that, great app. Now, Better Day is a personalization app. Let me show you what I mean. When you launch the app, it's mainly driven by the dedicated app on your iPhone. Here you have the ability to customize your calendar complication. No matter what watch face you're using, it should be available right here. You can change the colors of the certain tech, you can change the layout of it, and then once you have it as a complication on your watch face, when you click on it, you have the full year of the calendar, which you can utilize the digital crown to go to the next one. You can also go back to a previous year or a future year like next year, and you can see the dates right there. So if you're making plans over the call, over the phone call, and you don't wanna put the phone call in speaker, you can view it all right there on your wrist because the native one by Apple is limited because you're only stuck and able to only view the current month. 
you can't skip ahead next year or a few months ahead or anything like that you're limited but this app solves this issue so if and it also allows you to personalize your watch face so if, if you're about that customized lifestyle this is a great app for that as here is a quick overview on how that works so right now we have it on this so let's go ahead and change it to this so now it's going to show us the days of 2020 and you may also change the color if you don't want it to be blue you want it to be orange or red or something now although some of us may be quarantined still that doesn't mean we can't be active and if you need guidance to do certain workouts definitely do check out seven it's free to download there is a premium version but it's not limited let me go ahead and show you this app has pre-installed workouts for not just full body but also freestyle modes or you can create your very own if you want to when you start a workout not only does it show you the exercise right there on the wrist but it also keeps track of your reps your heart rate and all that good stuff it utilizes the motion sensor on your watch so it makes sure you're you're at least doing everything with proper form now as you may have noticed these are all body workouts so no equipment is really required and it's really jam-packed with a bunch of different exercises to do too on the main native app there actually is a leaderboard as this is community driven so you can add your friends or compete against other people around the world and if you download the app there's also a bunch of different libraries of different body style workouts you can do from home but of course these other ones require a premium but since it's innovated to the watch like this it's kind of like having a personal coach so if you need that motivation check out this app it's free to download and you can sign up for the premium if this is something you really enjoy now this next app is called Castro. Castro, not Castro, but Castro. <laughs> it's a podcast app. There's a lot more that you could do here than others, like your time remaining is right here. You could choose which device you want to stream to, but that one requires a premium. I'll talk more about it. But over here, you could change the speed. You could enhance the voices if you need to, or you could actually allow it to skip the silent part of a certain podcast so whenever there's a part that nobody's talking it'll automatically crop and trim it and quickly take it to the next clip now you could connect it with airpods but when you connect it airpods it's going to be streaming from your iphone unless you are a part of that premium version which i'll talk more about in a bit but the layout's almost identical to spotify it's very similar but on the mobile app itself you see here you could subscribe to their monthly service that will actually allow you to actually synchronize the podcast to the apple watch and unlock other features but all the important stuff doesn't require a membership such as all your favorite podcasts you can easily subscribe here and you could listen to it on your apple watch and this app i found it doesn't eat up a lot of storage compared to the native one by apple if you listen to a lot of podcasts now a very old app has now returned to the apple watch and that is google keeps now I don't know why but there was a time when a lot of native apps from different manufacturers like Google or Twitter they pull their apps out of the Apple Watch app store for some reason but Google decided to bring back Google Keep so if you are a Chromebook user or you use Google Keeps a lot on Google Chrome then you'll be glad to know that it's now returned it has now returned to the apple watch and all your notes and such are right here and available you could 3d press to pin or adjust things you can also create new notes from the watch itself as well you just cannot make checklists from the watch itself but you could check mark the ones you already completed that you made on another device now if you're looking for a dictionary app just look up look up <laughs> that's really literally the name of this application but this actually allows you to do a little bit more than what your typical dictionary app will allow you to do not only can you search up stuff by either using dictation or scribbles which is great because you don't have to verbally ask siri to search for certain words but you can search for the word of the day and the layout is really easy and if you have airpods paired to your device you can also listen to the pronunciation right there on your ear but down here you, also, you can also find a meeting uh, the definition and the origin of the word you can also save it if you want to bookmark it to use it later on and you can also check out the word of the day too if that's your thing but in real time you can see how quick everything loads and navigating this app is pretty clean like the ui is pretty clean now foursquare is new to me i had no idea this app existed but on the apple watch itself i prefer using this over yelp in my opinion you can search for different categories like food coffee 
nightclub, fun, or other nearby locations. So if we search for coffee, it's gonna show us a bunch of Starbucks, surprisingly. There's a lot of Starbucks around this area. But when you select a certain one that you want to go to, you could quickly enter maps and your Apple Watch itself will begin navigating right away. Then when you're looking for like nearby restaurants, it actually pulls up the last three Yelp reviews as well. You could 3D press to save. So next time when you're near the area, you could always just go to your bookmarks and search for it that way. You could also manually search too. So a good app to have if you're trying to find a quick place to eat. And lastly, Circa is the name of this final app. And what this app basically allows you to do, if you travel a lot where you have relatives around the world, this app basically will keep track of all those different time zones. And not only that, you could actually, if you go on the main app on your iPhone, you could actually adjust business time. So if it's a business that you own or a certain business that you're always in contact with, uh, here you can actually find the appropriate time when they should be open. So you don't have to actually Google it or anything like that. You can literally view it right here. And it's also it is a complication as well. The darker areas basically means it's open. And when it's out of the darker areas, it's most likely closed. And you can also keep track of the time by tapping on the app itself. And uh, it's pretty cool. Like right now you can see I have Shanghai, I have New York, Tampa. You can see all the different time zones right here. So you could call that person and there's very, they will very likely be awake or open during those business hours. And ladies and gentlemen, that is our list of 10 awesome newly added utility apps to definitely check out. Again, links to all these applications will be linked in the video description down below. So literally all these apps are a click away. And make sure to stay tuned for the next upcoming video because next week we're gonna go ahead and make a new video about awesome new games that you could play on the Apple Watch display. And don't worry, I make sure these apps are optimal and enjoyable to be played on a small device like the Apple Watch. So in the meantime, you can go ahead and watch this video over here if you want to check out more, as that is a video of a bunch of awesome accessories that's available right now for the Apple Watch. And then this video over here, that might be that gaming app video in case it's already released, but if it's not, that is just gonna be a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Again, thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.